Hello, <laughs> back at it again, back, back at it again, folks. Wanda, Wanda Budgets and Beyond. Oh my goodness, proving all the more. <laughs> I need to have my boop self <laughs> out here walking and talking to you all. Hello, welcome, welcome back, folks. Thank you for catching this video. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate it as always. Happy Friday, happy Friday. You know me with a little money, the budget, finance talk. Happy Friday, it is the weekend. Corn watch is in effect. Corn watch is in effect, folks. Uh, make sure you're watching those coins, spending where needed, spending where absolutely needed, where absolutely needed. If you don't absolutely need to spend, save those coins, folks, save those coins for something else, deposit them into a savings account, and put them in. I know that you all are cash stuffing, <laughs> put those duckies in an envelope, etc. and save it for Father's Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas, something or another like that. But the whole point is, if you don't have to absolutely spend any money on anything over the weekend, and of course it applies to any and every day, <clears throat> then don't spend, don't spend if you do not need to. Don't spend, folks. Keep those coins, keep those coins. As we all know, something is going to come up and you may need those few extra dollars that you saved that you did not spend this weekend for that particular uh, occasion, emergency, etc. <laughs> Mother's Day, folks. Mother's Day. Happy early Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah, big day. It is a big day. Lots of gift giving, etc. <laughs> the spouses or significant others doing spectacular things <laughs> for their girl. Right? Right, guys? <laughs> she doesn't show this type of enthusiasm when she's talking about Father's Day. <laughs> yes, I do. I know I don't. But nonetheless, Mother's Day is on Sunday, folks. A happy early, happy early Mother's Day, as mentioned prior. Please have a great day, and I hope that you have a great day. I hope that uh, someone in your lives make that day uh, memorable uh, for you. Yes, 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 yes. Please don't forget to go and check out my playlist. Lots of stuff over there. My shorts etc. My cash stuff things, those are always great. This is a budgeting channel after all. So yeah, definitely get over there and check that out. As I mentioned before in my previous videos this week and at <laughs> different times, because uh, I want people to, if I say it enough, then it, maybe it'll sink into my own brain once and twice and three and a thousand times over, because sometimes I need to hear it uh, myself. Well, here and there. It is that season, folks, the graduations, the college graduation. And speaking of college graduation, please make sure you go and check out my video from this morning, from this morning with regards to a survey that was done by Wallet Hub with regards to uh, 210 uh, participants that were, uh, that went or may still be in a two to four year institution. <laughs> and they may have been part-time or full-time, or some of the things with regards to personal finance and college. Go check out that video from this morning. Thank you so much. But yeah, it is that time, college graduation folks all over uh, these United States here. And we see the stuff that's going on with the campus work with regards to the international conflict that is happening over there in the Middle East that thing, but a whole lot of other stuff is going on. And in your own particular life, there may be a graduation. <clears throat> Do you have that gift card, that cash, whatever it is that you are going to give to uh, your own graduate, or maybe a family member's graduate, a colleague's graduate, just a friend, etc. Do you have that together? That might be the information that I presented, and you can go and look it up on Wallet Hub. Maybe a good something for you to talk about and share with as a gift, or as, as an additional gift to the to the person that's graduating. Just look at one or two of those points on there and ask them, hey, 
one of the thing, one of the questions on the survey was about uh, how does your, if I remember correctly, how does your parents' um, attitude towards uh, finance, personal finance, affect them, etc., something or another like that. And what is it? Another question was, uh, what is it that you want to do at the, you know, pretty much with their college stuff, you know, make more money or some or follow their passion, those type of questions. But it was very informative, very informative video. But yeah, and like I mentioned the other day, I do believe I mentioned it the other day. If you're going to give, uh, okay, that was something when hit this point. <laughs> um, if you're going to give cash, gift cards, maybe you might want to consider giving a book or something like that, or maybe send them to a website that you saw that may be helpful uh, to them. If they, if you know or have a strong feeling that they may not have enough or any personal finance education, uh, you may want to send them to a particular website, or you may say, hey, I uh, enrolled you in something uh, you don't have to show up. You just take the courses or the, you know, or listen to the videos online. You know, you may, you know, if, if it's something that you pay for, then that is great for them to partake in at their own leisure. And it's going to be out there for a period of time to where they have enough time to settle down at the college and then go and look at that. Something like that would be helpful. If you have the money to hire a personal, uh, personal finance advisor, counselor, that type of thing you know, for X number of hours, et cetera, however they do it, then that would be a great something also too. And I am saying this because as mentioned, if you know or have a strong feeling that they don't have and you want to, you know, give them some good information that they are going to need each and every day of their lives, or of course before, but hereafter, and if you and if you and if you and if you aren't the parent, then you had zero to do with zero to 18 or zero to 22, et cetera. You're, you're helping uh, this particular family member, this particular friend, <coughs> friend's kid, et cetera, uh, at this particular point. There are so many different ways to um, come up with some out of the box gift ideas for the particular person, et cetera. And I know most people will be going to the cash, which is great. I'm not saying don't do the cash. You can do the cash and then do something along that line. A book is always good and it doesn't have to pertain to money. It could pertain to something that that person like, likes or maybe something that they're going to go into. Maybe there is an author that, you know, if the person is in technology, maybe you can send them over there to <laughs> find a book for about, find a book <clears throat> by an author that is in that particular field sector that the person is going into. So like I said, a lot of different ways to think out of the box for gift ideas. Of course, the internet is here and you can get a whole host of things. Yeah. And then sometimes it, it, you may give the cash now and then at a later time you say, hey, I would like to uh, gift you this maybe a year or something or another out. Then maybe they might be in a space where they may not have a job or maybe they have a job and they need to do other things. Uh, they want to have two eight-hour day jobs. They don't want to be doing side hustles, et cetera. Then maybe you may have some insight or something that can help them uh, get a second job, et cetera. So even though you're giving something right then and there, cash, and then maybe you can do something else with them later on down the road. And another thing that you can do is say, hey, you can put me in your your phone contact, your Rolodex, depending on you know the person, and you know this particular person or this particular child, obviously outside of your kid. Like if it's your like if it's your sister's kid, you probably know them a little bit well. So you can put me in your contact information and if you ever want to talk about money, finance, something in life, something that you're going through, then I am here to help. And you can also put <laughs> this is just me and my brain. You can also put stipulations on that because you don't want the person calling you every five minutes. They need ten dollars, twenty dollars, fifty dollars, a hundred dollars. Can I borrow? Can I borrow? You don't want that either. And so you may want to uh, tell them that up front, et cetera. But so many different ways you can uh, give a gift for the right here and now, and then something that might be a little bit more long lasting, et cetera, uh, to the graduate. Just me just thinking of the time. What else is on my list of things? Yeah, the world events that are going on. 
just in of itself, but definitely on the campus and what they are doing and have done. Uh, some have canceled the commencement ceremonies, et cetera. We got the Trump trial, trials and stuff. <laughs> it is just a mess. Not a mess, but how are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing in your life? You got all of this stuff going on. How are you doing over here? And for me, just the day-to-day, -day, how are you doing with the day-to-day? -day? The day-to-day, -day, getting up, going to work, getting the kids together, getting the husband together. You see, I didn't mention that someone had to get the wife together <laughs> or the mother together. But hey, it is what it is. Ah, how are you doing? How is your day-to-day -day going? The groceries, the gas, the this at the school, K-8, to the this at the college, <laughs> you know, your, 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 your college student there. There's always something wanting your time, your energy, and definitely your money. The gas and the groceries going up. If you utilize um, gas as a heating fuel, propane, what have you, that is going up also into how are you doing day to day? You have that to contend with each and every day, and then you have the news of all the stuff that's going on, and you may or may not be listening to it, et cetera. For me, I wouldn't say don't. Listen to it, you know, take in as you know, as much as you can, as much as you feel comfortable with, as much as you can handle, pick one or all, um, so that you can be clued in as to what's going on. Because some of the stuff does affect you and it may, you know, be way down the line, et cetera, that it, that it will eventually get to you. Of course, if you're having problems over there in the Middle East and then we're getting most of our oil from there, may or may not be. <clears throat> then we know that the gas prices are going to go up. We know that the food prices are going to go up eventually because we need to haul the stuff. It's mostly by truck, diesel fuel. Those prices go up uh, for the companies that own the trucks, etc. Then your our prices at the grocery store is going to go up on these uh, uh, the food stuff and the, the clothing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You we all know how it goes. We all know how it goes. So. You don't have to get too fully immersed in it, but you know, just kind of sort of be cognizant of that you know, these things are happening, and, uh, and you can chat about it if need be, if need be. But yeah, it's all about uh, perspective, putting things into perspective. What else do I have on this list? Oh, what's number one for you? What is number one for you? Is it you? And it should be because you have to be able to take care of and provide for yourself, your mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, et cetera, all of that before you can help someone someone else. And you know, I mentioned this prior. So there's no, <laughs> you know it already for yourself. <clears throat> you have to be able to take care of you before you can take care of anyone else. And that anyone else would include your children your spouse, significant other, etc. You have to be able to take care of yourself, folks. You have to be able to take care of yourself, number one, and then take care of all the other folks. How do you take care of yourself, your family? Do you extend it out or do you just keep it kind of sort of close like that with just you and your family? Do you extend that out to your parents, maybe? Do you extend it out to your spouse's parents? Do you extend it out to your sisters and brothers? Or do you just help if they, if someone comes to you and they need help, you just help when you can, but you just pretty much keep it close. <sighs> what about family members like aunts, uncles, cousins? Do you extend out the help um, that way, to that extent? Or do you just kind of sort of just keep it close? Or does uh, your Availability of resources beyond money, but mostly money, dictates that you can only keep it right here with the family, right here with you, yourself, and your family. There's a whole lot of things. It's all about perspective and what it is that you want to do uh, to help others win and if you can, et cetera. And don't feel bogged down if you can't help because sometimes, and do you know this, sometimes we have family members that seems seems that they're always in some type of financial situation, some type of financial issue, et cetera. And then you help once or twice, et cetera, and then they keep coming back and they keep coming back and they keep coming back. And at some point you're going to have to say no. 
So for some, it may take, because you don't just want to be, you know, just one way. Like I'm just focusing on myself and my family. I am trying not to move out of bounds or whatever, what I'm not trying to help anybody else because I just want to help my family. I'm trying to get someplace. But if it comes to a point where you're just trying to just take care of your family because you want to save up for this, that, or the other, or you just want to take care of your family, you get yourself on a good footing for now and in the future because, you know, other things will be happening. The kids may be infants now, but they're going to be five, six, and you may want to send them to private school, et cetera, et cetera. Or your kid, you may want to start saving up for your kid to go to college and you're just keeping your perspective just to your family or what have you. Then so be it. It is what it is. People will just have to get over it. I'm not trying to sound harsh, but it is what it is. You have to be able to take care of yourself first before you can take care of anyone else. It is what it is, folks. It is what it is. What else I got? Okay. Oh, yeah. Just another little thing about um, preparedness, emergency preparedness. Ah, and I know I've talked about this before, and I probably haven't mentioned it in a while, but yeah. Just be mindful about emergency preparedness in case there is a power outage, um, some type of natural disaster is supposed to be happening uh, in your area or does happen in your area. And you know, <laughs> you look you weren't listening to the news because you got so much other stuff going on, you weren't listening to the news, etc. And you know, there wasn't anyone around you to say, Hey, have you heard about well, there may be uh, thunderstorms and heavy rain or flooding or something or another like that? No one was there to I tell you that or for you to hear. You always want to be prepared. You always want to be be prepared. And you may just have an evacuation in your city or your state. You want to be prepared for uh, those type of things. So, you know, getting some food stuff together in case you have to shelter in place, as they say, in case you have to stay in your home because you can't get out due to snow or, you know, they have a tornado, hurricane, etc. You know, for a few days, you're out of electricity for a few days. You have water and food so that you can uh, carry on, so that you can carry on. And hopefully these type of things only last a day or two, but we have history to where some of the things last quite a long while. And I know that it is a lot. <laughs> it's just a lot for me to even think about it, et cetera. So that is why having an emergency fund is key. And I get it. If the power is out there, you're not going to be able to go to the ATM machine, et cetera. But if you have your tank full of gas, then maybe you can go to out of the area where the thing is going on. And maybe there is some place that you can get to an ATM machine that possibly have a generator, you know, et cetera. You, you all get what it is I'm saying. But the, one of the main point is, you know, trying to get up an emergency fund uh, to handle some of these things, whether it's just short term or long term. And I'm just specific. Specifically, specifically speaking about, you know, the, the preparedness, <clears throat> two, three, four days or a week of being out, and uh, you, if you may have to travel out of your, uh, out of your state, that case, have an emergency fund, so you can buy gas whenever you can get to a place that is that is open and and is selling, if need be. And pick up food stuff. Maybe you have enough money to where you can go out of bounds, out of where the issue is happening, where you can stay in a hotel, and, you know, all of that good stuff. So, yeah. Besides just having things in your home, you know, flashlights and the batteries for the flashlights, and power, pack, and power, power banks for your electronics, or maybe a little small generator uh, that can do like the regular electrical outlet, the 120 volt, I think it is, all that type of thing. So you can and make sure that is charged up so that you can power your things and hopefully the issue will pass, the electricity will come back on, et cetera. But yeah, just a little note about uh, emergency preparedness because I hadn't mentioned it in, in quite a bit. Get it up, Wanda. Pick up those legs. <laughs> talking too much. You're talking too much. Uh, oh yeah, that was all the things that I had on my list. Things to go over. I'm almost at 20 minutes. Oh, the time goes by fast. The time goes by fast, folks. Ooh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, hey, uh, uh, uh. 
What are your plans for the weekend, folks? What are your plans for the weekend? Coin watch. I'm watching my coins, Wanda. I am not going to spend more than I have to. I'm going to find an envelope and put $5 in there. <laughs> and it's nothing. Uh, yes, I tell you, always something. And I am going to do, and I'm just, yeah, you'll see. I'm, I'm going to do a, a video, maybe two or so, a video on my new uh, challenges that I have. Yes, those are going to be coming up maybe next month. I did say last month that it was going to be this month, but I am going to probably start next month, a whole clean month. But yeah, you shall see, you shall see. But like I mentioned before, it is working for me, getting better each and every day as time goes on. Uh, doing, you know, some things differently. Some things are still a work in progress. Of course, yeah. I tell you, <laughs> when I write it down, it's, it's for me, whoo, it's, it, 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 it's overwhelming. It, it can be overwhelming, folks. It can be overwhelming. But how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time, one bite at a time. And I know that in some spots for some things, I know that I need to pick up the pace. But it is what it is, one bite at a time. But yeah. But definitely make sure you go and check out that uh, Wallet Hub uh, thing with re that survey that they did with regards to the college uh, students, et cetera. I thought that was very informative, very informative. Ooh, eight more minutes, and I'll be in 30 minutes. So there may be moments of silence, folks. Because <laughs> sometimes if this is going, this does something different. Ah. Some water. I have a refrigerator, folks. I have a refrigerator in here. So, yeah. Right here. Here. Uh, it started to rain a little bit here. It's dreary outside and it is cold. I don't know the temperature, but it is cold outside. I, I, 32 degrees freezing, anything like that, but but cold. And here we are, May 10th. May 10th. <laughs> and I wash, I gotta wash my car. My sister came over on this is last week now. I guess <laughs> I got last week, I think it was Thursday. Thursday, yeah, I think it was last week, Thursday, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I washed my car here. Outside of here, house. Ah, it's another battle. But it rained the other day, but nonetheless. And I'm right underneath my car. It's parked right underneath this large tree. And the pollen and the stuff falling, the leaves, and ah, always something. Always something to do outside for me now. But yeah, pick it up, Wanda, pick it up. Ooh. Hope you all have a good weekend. And definitely, as always, be safe. Be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of your surroundings. So heel touches.
expected for football season to start back up again. I have to go to the Steelers site to see if, I don't know whether the NFL has put out the, excuse me, 2024 um, football schedule yet, but hopefully they would do it soon. I was listening to the sports channel. I thought I heard that they were going to be doing that uh, soon, like within a couple of weeks or maybe today or something or another like that. But I can't wait for the, the actual season to start up. Of course, there's always football talk, any of the sports talk, <laughs> even when the season is over and done with for all of them, baseball, hockey, football, even uh, soccer, just you know, European football, <laughs> or European, and then and, uh, all Spanish speaking countries, <laughs> so who's saying? football. Yeah, nonetheless, I can't wait for it to start. I can't wait for it to start. Oh, 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 oh. Woo. Yawning away. Almost 28 minutes in, folks. Almost 28 minutes in. Yeah. Strength training thing, which I'm going to do offline directly after I get done here, because if I don't, it won't happen. Trust and believe. Because <laughs> there's always stuff going on. Oh, I got your your list is always in your head. Less than a minute, folks. Your lights on. Thank you all once again for being here. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you already haven't, and I'm sure that you have. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate it. Check out my playlist. Lots of stuff over there as mentioned prior. And thank you for being here. I do appreciate your time. As always, it is very important, very valuable, very valuable. Take care and have a great rest of your Friday and have a safe and productive weekend, folks. Bye.